Hello everyone, I know that many questions are going on in your mind about the PhD coursework like what is a PhD coursework, what is the structure of PhD coursework, what is the need of PhD coursework, if I have done MPhil then PhD coursework is mandatory for me or not, without PhD coursework can I submit my PhD thesis, many questions are going on in your mind. In this video we are going to discuss all these questions and we are going to understand guidelines of UGC and university about the PhD coursework. If you want to build a good building, then good foundation is required. Similarly, this PhD coursework will provide you a good academic foundation for your this long PhD journey. PhD coursework will provide you academic clarity for your PhD journey. In the PhD coursework, there will be the expert session and this expert session definitely helpful to clear your doubts and clear your concept about the research methodology and the proper methodology is helpful to you for your PhD work. In PhD coursework, there will be a brainstorming, there will be a guiding session, there will be a discussion, there will be a doubt solving session and definitely this all the things are useful for your future PhD journey. Therefore, we can say that it is a, therefore we can say that the PhD coursework will provide you a good academic foundation, it will provide you a good academic support and definitely it will accelerate your speed for your PhD journey. According to the UGC guideline, and the university guideline, the PhD coursework shall be treated as a prerequisite for the PhD preparation. All the candidates admitted to the PhD program shall be required to complete the coursework. Now the biggest question, who is exempted from the coursework? There are many students, they always ask me, sir, I have qualified the NET examination. NET qualified student are exempted from the PhD coursework or not? Or I am NET and GRF qualified. The NET and GRF qualified student are exempted from the PhD coursework or not. Without PhD coursework, can I submit my PhD thesis and many more. But here I would like to uh, mention a very important point. If you have qualified NET examination, even though you have qualified NET and GRF examination, PhD coursework is mandatory for you all. As per the UGC guideline and university guideline, they have mentioned a very important line, candidate already uh, holding, candidate already holding MPhil degree, and admitted to the PhD program or those who have already completed the coursework in the MPhil program. Now here is the important line that those who have already completed the coursework in the MPhil and have been permitted to proceed to PhD in integrated course shall be exempted from the PhD coursework. Means if you have done coursework in your MPhil program and you have been permitted to proceed to PhD in integrated course only those students are exempted the PhD coursework. Remaining all the students admitted to the PhD program shall be required to complete the PhD coursework. As per the UGC guideline and the university guideline, PhD coursework shall be for 16 credit. The coursework shall be treated as a prerequisite for the PhD program. All the courses prescribed for the PhD coursework uh, shall be met with the credit hours instructional requirement and shall specify the content, instructional and assessment method, they shall be duly approved by the authorized academics bodies. All the candidates admitted to the PhD program shall be required to complete the coursework prescribed by the department during the initial one or two semesters. Now, as per this UGC guideline, uh, many state universities had developed their syllabus. That syllabus is approved in their academic council and that syllabus is published. Now, here we are going to discuss, we are going to understand the example of Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University, that is University of Pune. Here we will discuss the example of Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University, Faculty, Commerce and Management. They have designed their syllabus, that syllabus is approved in their academic council and syllabus is published available on the university website. According to that, PhD coursework part 1 carries the 4 credit points. The major heads for the coursework part 1 is research methodology. As per the UGC guideline and the university guideline, the lectures or the expert should cover the points like quantitative method, computer application, research area, research ethics, paper publication in the relevant field, training and the field work. Means basically here, experts guest lecture uh, will cover the syllabus of the research methodology. Already this syllabus is published on the Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University that is University of Pune's website in the student section in syllabus time. Now this part one is for four credit and 60 hours duration. Here they allotted 15 hours for the one credit. Therefore for four credit 60 hours are the most important task for the PhD research scholar or the PhD student. First thing PhD student should attend all the lectures, complete all the assignment and they should understand all the methodology in the proper way so it is helpful for their next PhD journey. Along with that PhD student should complete the three important things. First thing there will be a home assignment 
from the research center or the phd coursework organizer research student should submit that home assignment within the stipulated time a second thing phd student phd research scholar should deliver a one presentation on the research methodology or the research design and the third most important thing after the completion of the syllabus after the completion of the expert lecture series there will be the 100 marks examination and that examination will be on multiple choice question on the entire syllabus of the research methodology and that syllabus is already published on Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University's website after that PhD coursework part 2 again carries the four credit now this part 2 is divided into the three different types: part 2a part 2b and part 2c in part 2a there will be the writing of research proposal for obtaining the financial assistance from the national funding agency here the organizer or the research center will arrange some expert session how to write down the research proposal for obtaining the financial assistance from the national funding agency there will be the guiding session there will be the counseling sessions after that with the help of the research advisory committee or under the guidance of the research advisory committee students should draft the proposal and that draft proposal to be submitted to an identified funding agency now the next part of this coursework part 2 that is part 2b is writing of review now there will be the session of literature review or there will be the session of how to write down a good review this is for one credit and duration is 15 hours after this session it is expected that student should publish a one research paper on review of literature and this to be published in UGC care or scopus journal for this paper research scholar is the first author and research guide is the second author and the third last point of this phd coursework part 2 that is 2c is seminar here it is expected that two research paper to be presented at national or international seminar again here for that paper a research scholar is the first author and research guide is the second author therefore in the coursework part 2 the first assignment is the preparation of the research proposal and submitted that to the concern funding authority second assignment is the publication of one paper on the basis of review of literature and that to be published into the UGC care and scopus journal and two research paper to be presented in national and international seminar after this phd coursework part 3 carries the eight credit this phd coursework part 3 is divided into the four sections the first section is part 3a part 3a is the MOOCs related courses to the phd topic oblique discipline as suggested by the research advisory committee certificate of MOOCs completion to be submitted now here MOOC is massive open online courses now their expectation is a student PhD scholar should complete the massive open online course related to the subject or related to the topic now let's take an example suppose if some, stu some student uh, subject is organizational management and the topic is entrepreneurship development that student can enroll for the course related with the entrepreneurship development or course uh, course related with the organizational management a student should complete that course and submit the MOOC certificate to the research center and, and university the second section of part 3 is 3b coursework on analytical tool that is SPSS oblique qualitative analysis here generally organizer conduct the workshop and SPSS or there will be the expert session guest lectures on SPSS after this session after this workshop there will be the assessment covering various analytical tools through the analysis of live data and it is for 50 marks the third section of coursework part 3 is the pilot study now it is for two credit and 30 hours now here expectation is one research paper to be presented at national and international seminar or it is published into the UGC care or scopus journal again here the research scholar is the first author and the research guide is the second author even there there are expectation PhD student should present the pilot study presentation and the last fourth section of the PhD coursework part 3 that is section 3D is online public in classroom course on research and publication ethics and the syllabus is defined by UGC. Now generally here research center or the coursework organizer conduct the classroom sessions on the research and publication ethics. After this classroom sessions there will be the multiple choice question based test for 50 marks. Now here we have discussed the PhD coursework of Savitri Bhai Phule Pune University commerce and management faculty we have discussed the structure of uh, PhD coursework part 1 PhD coursework part 2 and PhD coursework part 3 and even we try to address the many questions of the PhD scholar PhD student during this video with this note I would like to end this video all the best for your PhD coursework and all the best for the PhD journey thank you for watching this video